Let's meet the custodians. What do they do? The custodians spend a lot of time at school picking up after us. Like if we make a mess, they clean it up. Our fabulous custodians are Mr. Woods, Mr. Mack, Miss Bazell, and Mrs. Lopez. They get here before we do and leave way after you do. In the library, they dust, vacuum, and gel the trash cans. And there's a lot of trash in here. In the classroom, they empty trash cans, sweep stuff like pencil shavings and pieces of paper that are left on the floor. Also, they wax and mop the floors. So really, the custodians do more than just clean up your classroom. They clean up everyone's classroom. So if you see a custodian, you should stop them and thank them for all that they've done and perhaps clean up after yourself. Good morning, Cougars. CNN is bringing you your Wednesday news on this November 29th. I'm Will, and here we go. It's a big day for our fifth graders. They are going to the Florida Southern College campus for the County Dare presentations. Our very own Opal wrote a winning essay. Good luck, Opal. Think quick. Your synonym rolls are rolling in fast. Welcome to Cinnamon Roll. That was fast. Let's quickly visit the Raiders of the Bookshelves. You might be a lucky reader today. Lucky Raiders! Whew! You got your books from the shelves and now you get the treasure. Come by the Media Center today because you are a lucky reader. Hmm, we have a reminder about the reading fidelity checks. Those are coming up on December 8th, teachers. I'm sure the teachers will know what to do with that note. Speaking of notes, here's a course note for this Friday and Saturday. The Cougar Course will practice at block times this Friday, and there is a very important practice Saturday from 9 to 11. That's this Saturday and the next Saturday. The Chorus and Strings concert is coming up on December 12th at 7 p.m. Now there's a group of people who know about cooperation. Everyone needs to do their part. What's up with the state stats? Our state is Massachusetts. Massachusetts grows seafood, cranberries, vegetables, and dairy products. So that just might be where our Thanksgiving cranberry sauce came from. Mm, my lips are still tingling. That's good to know, and this is a fun, fun fact. There are 40,000 muscles and tendons in an elephant's trunk. This makes it very strong and flexible, allowing it to pluck a flower and pick up a dog. It's time to fall back. On October 29th, the time will change. Daylight savings time will end on Saturday night. The main purpose of daylight savings time is to make a better use of daylight. We change our clocks during the summer months to move an hour of daylight from the morning to the evening. Now it's over and it's time to fall back one hour. It will be lighter in the morning and it will get darker earlier in the evening. So, don't forget to turn your clocks back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night. You don't want to be late. Wowzers! Coming next week to your school is Book Fair Week, and the second graders are putting on a show for you December 5th at 7 p.m. That's Book Fair Night. Be sure to come out for that. There will be plenty of cool books to buy for yourself or for a Christmas present for a friend. Are you seeing spots? Oh, it's not just a spot, it's a cougar spot. Check it out. Your favorite time of the day has arrived. That would be... Lunch! Today for lunch you will dine upon... If you are wondering about the weather, Heidi has all of that in your Cougar Weather Report. Think about cooperation. Does it hurt you to help others? No. Does it make life harder or easier when you cooperate? Easier. I'd say you're a really smart Cougar if you choose to cooperate. Things go better with cooperation, Cougars. Cheers!
Let's meet the secretaries. What do they do? CCE has two secretaries, Ms. Cosman and Ms. Dimko. Ms. Cosman has been here for 28 years, and this is Ms. Dimko's first year. The secretaries have loads to do. They answer phones, they help students and parents, they enroll students, they maintain files, and they put lots of info on the computer. The secretaries know everything. If you have a question about the school, come down and ask them. They'll give you all the info you need. I'm Will, signing off from CNN. Welcome to school. Good morning, Cougars. I'm Will on this last day of November. By the way, the date is November 30th. I hope you can spell It's time for a spell check. Which of the words in green is misspelled? The hamster has a bad habit of eating cardboard. Is it hamster, habit, or cardboard? It's hamster. H-A-M-S-T-E-R. Hamster. The hamster has a bad habit of eating cardboard. Way to spell, Cougars. Now, let's take a trip to worlds, but... Massachusetts. The Pilgrims landed in Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620. That's where Plymouth Rock can be found. That's a good topic for the last day of November, don't you think? And now, Cougars, it's time to check the winning score of AR Scorecard. Looky here, it's Miss Ben Wallace, AR Readers. Congratulations, fourth graders. Way to get it done. Way to score. It's not too late to make you a AR girl. Just get a plan and stick to it. Read everything you can, even if you don't think you can read it. Come on, Cougars. Wouldn't it just shock everyone if we all made our ogles? Cooperation can get you going. The second graders are using their cooperation key as they work very hard on their program. Melton, the warm-hearted snowman, will be appearing next Tuesday, December 5th, here at CCE. Make plans to come. It's book fair night, too. Hi, I'm Ben Franklin. I was born a long time ago on January 17th, 1706 in Boston, Massachusetts. I started school at eight years old. I had good handwriting and was a good reader, but I did poor in arithmetic. That's what you call math nowadays. My father didn't have enough money to keep me in school. So at age 10, I dropped out of school and worked in my father's soap and candle shop. I hated it. When I was 12, I worked in my brother's print shop. When I was 17, I went to Philadelphia to work in another print shop. Soon, I met Deborah Reed. When I was 24, we married and we had three children, William, Francis, and Sarah. Now did you know, I fancied myself as a bit of an, of an inventor. I invented swimming paddles that go over your hands to help you swim faster. I invented the Franklin stove. It heats air around you and saves fuel. I also invented the long arm to reach books high up. I also did the famous kite experiment you've all heard about. Here's how I did it. I was interested in electricity. I wanted to prove lightning is electricity. My son and I flew a kite in a storm. Lightning struck a metal rod on the kite. I touched a key fastened to the kite string and there was an electrical spark. If it was the strongest spark, it could have killed me, but I lived to tell about it. I liked government work too. I was chosen to help write the Declaration of Independence. I died of pleurisy on April 17, 1790 when I was 84, but I lived long enough to see the new nation, the United States of America. You know you don't want to miss it. And the Cougar Course is getting psyched up for their winter program with the string players. Paint the Town December will be on CCE stage Tuesday, December 12th at 7 p.m. The Cougar Chorus has block time practice this Friday and again this Saturday and next Saturday too. Here's a special math moment from Miss Kelly's Kinder Cougars. Watch this. Math moment! Thank you for sharing your math moment. You taught me a thing or two or three. Oops. I guess I got carried away. I was counting my steps to lunch. 
Today we'll be having... I bet you know where we're going now. It's time for Weather with Heidi. Think a minute. Name something you can do with a group of people that you can't do by yourself. Have you got your thought? If you got to some things you can do without the help of others, you know all about cooperation, especially if you like to play baseball. Cooperation is the key, Cougars. Good Monday morning to all of you Cougars out there. It's March 5th and I'm Will. CNN has your news, so let's get it started. More testing this week. Mind your quiet zones and please keep your toolbox handy. Now, here come those p Cougar birthdays with the pop. Happy, happy birthday to you, Cougars. Celebrate. It's your day. A sweet birthday is better than a sour birthday. Hey, those words are opposites. I bet the sour ants had sour faces, don't you? Would you like to take a trip? Well, let's go. Arr! First stop, Missouri. Missouri is east of Illinois. The capital is Jefferson City. The largest city in Missouri is Kansas City. Missouri's nickname is the Show Me State. And Missouri joined the United States as the 24th state on August 10, 1821. I wonder where Clyde was traveling last week. Let's find out. Clyde Cougar was at 23 degrees 7 north latitude and 113 degrees 15 east longitude. He was in Canton, China. He's off again to 13 degrees 45 north latitude and 100 degrees 30 east longitude. Find him if you think you can keep up with him. I think he could beat the FCAT. Clyde knows the world. Words are related. Let's find the word relationship for these words. Word relationships. Acorn, spaghetti, butternut. Acorn, spaghetti, and butternut are all types of squash. I was thinking about spaghetti nuts. That didn't make any sense. Would you like spaghetti nuts for lunch? You know what time it is. Look up. Here comes your cougar weather. It's time to test. You didn't forget your lucky number two pencil, did you? Oh dear, just take a deep breath and say, I'll do my best. It's only a test. You can tolerate this with a breath and a smile, cougars. Do you have a favorite book? Mrs. Rowell's third grade class does. They went to the library, checked out a book, made a book report, and even made a shadow box. Let's check it out. My name is Mary Claire. I did a book report on Hank the Cow Dog, Murder in the Middle Pasture. And this... Do any of those books sound good? Would you like to read them? Come on, I'll show you how. Sit, it's easy. First, type your title here. Here's a secret. You don't have to type in the whole thing. Just the first word. After you're done with that, Click on the title button. Scroll down with your eyes until you find what you want. Aha, there it is. It is on shelf, F-I-C-P-A-T. Come on, let's go find it. The card catalog said it was on Fiction P-A-T. So, let's find shelf Fiction P-A-T. Fiction, uh, aha, Fiction P-A-T. Now, all I have to do is find the book. And there it is. So, still looking for a good book? Those are some pretty good titles. And I even showed you how to use the card catalog. Now you can find a great book. I'm Will, signing off from CNN.